Hello everyone and welcome you all back to my YouTube channel. I'm Joy Abel. It is my pleasure to have you guys joining me again. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing now for more interesting videos. And to all my returning subscribers out there, I want to say thank you for always coming back. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what husbands really want from their wives. You know, there are a lot of things that husbands really want from their wives aside sex. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you those things that husbands really want from their wives. You know, men have different reasons for getting married. Some get married because of love and companionship. Other get married because they want to have children. Why majority of men ask they get married because they are tired of washing their own clothes and they want women who could cook and clean for them. This is why when you ask majority of men out there why they want to get married, you will hear, I want to start eating home cooked meals. Others say, I want to have children that carry on my family name. Some say they want to get married because they need women who could tolerate their excesses and care for them like their mothers. You know, when wives think about what their husbands really want, they typically say sex. And don't get me wrong, that is what they want, but I will get to that in a bit. I'm so convinced sex is not the only thing that husbands really want from their wives. So here are some of the things that husbands really want from their wives. Number one, husbands want respect. Marriages cannot drive happily without respect. It's not only something that makes a man feel like a man. It's not something that makes a husband feel like a man. But it's also a biblical mandate. It's also a biblical mandate. The book of Ephesians 5 technically explains that the wife is to respect her husband. And in return, it will create a desire for him to love you fully. You need to respect your husband no matter what. You know, they don't like it when we raise our voice at them. They don't like it when we talk to them anyhow. They don't like it. So stop disrespecting your husband. Stop shouting at him. Don't make him look as if he's a fool. Don't make him look as if he don't know what he's doing. You know, listen to him. Don't decide for him. You know, give your husband a chance to share his heart. As a wife, you always need to praise your husband. You need to, you know, compliment your husband in front of others, especially children and family. You know, as a wife, correcting or attacking your husband in public destroys respect. It destroys respect. So you need to watch your tongue. You know, expect great things from your husband. You need to encourage your husband as often as you can. You know, tell your husband you respect him. You can text it to him, you can write it in a letter, you can even whisper it in his ear. Your man needs to hear your affirming words. If you want to have a happy home, you want to have a successful marriage, if you want your husband to keep loving you, you want your husband to care for you, you want your husband, you know, to go out of his way to buy you gifts here and there, all you need to do is to respect your husband. Respect is the key. They are not asking for too much from us. I don't think they are asking for too much. You know, before you got married to this man, you always praise him, you always compliment him, you gave him his respect. So I see no reason why you should stop now. I see no reason. So if you really want to have a happy home, you want to have a successful marriage, you want your husband to keep loving you, respect is the key. Number two, husbands want trust. You know, trust is a reaction of love. You know, it's a byproduct of and key to a healthy marriage. There is no fear in love. The book of 1 John 4, Aaron talks about trust. You know, it may be difficult for you to trust because you are afraid. But do not fear. Do not fear. It's a command mentioned repeatedly throughout the Bible. You need to trust your husband no matter what. You know, you don't control your life. You don't control your circumstances. You don't, or you don't even control your children's choices. So you shouldn't, you know, try to control your husband's ego. They don't like it when you control them. Instead, 
all you need to do is replace control with trust that's all and don't forget that you married to a human he will let you down so you need to put your faith in god and he will restore your trust in your spouse you no know, trust comes through forgiveness if you if you hold something against your husband you really need to forgive him and you need to forgive yourself too if you want to have a happy home you know don't give room for doubt don't doubt your husband trust him number three husbands want intimacy you know when i entered that class you know that marriage classroom some years ago i didn't understand man's physical need for sex i didn't understand i got the cliff note version after some hard lessons since then i've learned that my husband not only wants sex he has a physical need for it that only i can meet likewise your husband that's the way god created them and there is nothing we can do about it and if wives constantly deny his husband you know it creates havoc in every area of marriage i see no reason why wives should constantly deny her husband of sex he is your husband the both of you are when don't deny don't constantly deny your husband of sex you know don't forget that he is also a human he has blood running down his vein and don't forget that you know men cannot stay a longer time or a longer period without sex so if you constantly deny your husband of sex you are driving him out and he will start cheating on you he will start cheating on you you know don't give up on your sex life if intimacy is an area of struggle in your marriage you really need to seek the help of a trusted christian counselor you know i understand sometimes sometimes as a woman you may not be in the mood for sex you know yes wonders i understand so you need to explain to your husband in a polite way he will understand but it shouldn't be a constant thing you need to protect your home and marriage from loss and pornography it's rampant you need to be vigilant against this enemy Kevin Lemach added that sex begins in the kitchen. It's true. There's nothing hotter than treating each other well all day long, which will greatly improve intimacy. Don't constantly deny your husband of sex. He is your husband and the both of you are one. Give it to him whenever he wants it, anyhow he wants it, and when you are not in the mood, when you don't want it, he will understand just explain to him he will understand number 4 husbands want peace you know when i asked my husband what make him feel loved he said peace so i feel challenged to pursue peace the book of psalm 34:14 and hebrew 12:14 talks about peace and i'm asking god to let it reign in our home you need to pray for peace in your home and in your lives You know, as a wife, you need to greet each other after a long day of work. You know, you need to stop what you're doing and give your give your husband your full attention for at least a minute. It's not difficult to do. You know, give give your mate five minutes of peace, of unwinning, and just the change of heart. And you can also get your children involved. You know, I recently sat my kids down and told them their dad needs five minutes of unwin when he gets home. You know, as a wife, before unloading your list of items to discuss, you know, you need to ask your spouse for an appropriate time to talk. Don't just talk because you want to talk. You know, if you constantly, you know, deny your husband of peace, you don't give him peace. Oh, he may not always want to come back home after a long day of work. He will rather hang out with his friends, and by so doing, he will start cheating on you. He will start drinking excessively. So you need to give your husband peace. So this is what I'm bringing to you based on my reaching out to the married women, to the married men out there and asking them, what is it you want me to say on the show? What is it you really want from your wife? What will make you to be a good husband to your wife? What will make you to care and love your your wife? 
this is what they say they want so here you are now as a married woman as a spinster planning for marriage you got it now go put it together make your marriage work if you really want to have a happy home you need to trust your husband you need to give him peace you need to respect him you need to give him sex whenever he wanted and anyhow he wanted so guys we've come to the end of this for today if you like my video and you want to see more of it don't forget to subscribe to my channel give my video a thumbs up also share my video with your friends and families and also on your social media you might be saving a home you know you might be saving a home and don't forget to you know invite your friends and family to you know subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos thank you guys for watching this video thank you for being part of joy inspire thank you for your time i hope to see you guys in my next video